Police say Xavier Starks showed up to the place where his ex-girlfriend was working, parked his car behind her, and began fighting with her. When someone else came to her aid, police say he pulled out a gun and shot them both. I was told not to say anything. I'm so sorry. But everybody's shaken up in there. Yeah, it's a tough time. Workers of the Burke's Digestive Diagnostic Center not only witnessed the shooting, they tried to save the lives of those shot. Police say the gunman, Xavier Starks, pulled in behind his ex-girlfriend in a back parking lot this morning. The two argued, and a co-worker tried to help her. We know that this is a domestic incident. Uh, one of the victims was in a relationship with the shooter. The other was just an innocent bystander that was coming to work and then trying to help uh, the, uh, their co-worker. Stark shot them both, police say, and then himself. Investigators say they were already familiar with Starks. Was the contact you had because of this ongoing domestic incident? Yes. The woman was shot first in the neck. The man shot in the upper chest area, trying to get that gun away from Starks. We can say that we're confident that there's no danger to the safety. The shooter is here and is deceased. But how it got this far, police say they don't know. While the couple's dispute was known to investigators. We're not even able to come close to answering why at this point. Investigators say Starks was pronounced right on the scene. However, the two surviving victims, both of them have critical injuries at this point. One is being treated here in Reading, the other a Philadelphia hospital. In Wyoming Township, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News.